Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Now, of course, with the latest version of Home Assistant, um, I think it's 0 0.87, uh, they added in a new Smart Things component. Now, the great thing about this is, is you will no longer need to use the Smart Things MQTT bridge uh, to be able to add Smart Things devices into Home Assistant. Super cool. One less thing that you have to worry about it just makes it that much cleaner of an install and setup for all of your devices. Here is the Home Assistant component page for SmartThings. Uh, of course, there are several steps that we'll have to go through to get this set up, but overall, I don't think the setup is all that bad and it is uh, fairly easy to do. So, of course, as I've kind of already stated, you will need to be on version uh, 0.87 or higher for this to work and to get the uh, new SmartThings component. All right, so let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we are going to generate a personal access token uh, on SmartThings. For this next step, you may not need it. It depends on if you're currently using the MQTT bridge or not. Uh, but our next step will be to stop the SmartThings MQTT bridge. Can't really have both of them running at the same time. Once we do that, we are going to add the uh, new SmartThings component uh, using the Home Assistant integrations. Once that's done, then we'll pull up our mobile app and add the uh, newly created Smart app. And lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. Now, as far as I can tell, the main prerequisite that you will need for this to work properly is you need to have um, your Home Assistant uh, configuration set up with an SSL cert and basically accessing Home Assistant via HTTPS and a um, some sort of DNS name. I'll put a link uh, to my Let's Encrypt uh, video on how to set that up with DuckDNS uh, below. But assuming that you have all of that set up, then we are ready to continue with the first step. So we need to uh, generate a personal access token. And I'll have the links in the description below, but we're basically going to log in with our SmartThings account. Once we uh, log in, uh, it'll prompt us to generate a new token. We'll click on that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna give our token a name. Uh, I'm just gonna call mine Home Assistant. You can call it whatever you want. And then let's see, we need to uh, select some of the authorized scopes. So we're going to say devices, uh, installed apps, locations, uh, apps, schedules, and scenes. And I think that's all that is required for this to work. Then we're going to hit generate token. Basically, you're going to copy that token and save it somewhere because we're going to need it later for our uh, configuration. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. Now, again, this step is only required if you're currently running the SmartThings MQTT bridge. Um, but assuming that you are, if you are trying to set up the SmartThings component, you've probably already been using SmartThings with Home Assistant. So we're going to go in here and we're going to uh, select our SmartThings bridge container here in uh, Portainer. And I'm just going to stop it. I'm not going to remove it just yet, just because um, obviously if uh, the new component doesn't work the way I want it to, or if I have any issues, I can always kind of roll back to the uh, old way of uh, using SmartThings with Home Assistant. Uh, once that's stopped, we're ready to move on to the next step. We are now ready to add the new SmartThings component. Uh, the kind of cool thing about this is most of the uh, setup is done from within 
uh, the web interface of Home Assistant. So we're going to click on configuration uh, and then we'll select integrations and scroll down and look for smart things and hit configure. Personal access token that we uh, created uh, at the beginning of this uh, video. That's what we're going to use here. So uh, if you saved it somewhere, copy it. We're going to paste it in here. Hit submit. And of course, then it tells you uh, you're now ready to install the Home Assistant Smart App. Now we'll do that, of course, in our next step here. So let's go ahead and move forward. So we've jumped over to our phone that's running the Smart Things app. Uh, basically, we are going to select automation down here at the bottom and then choose smart apps at the top. From here, we want to select add a smart app. And then, of course, we need to scroll down to the bottom uh, where it has my apps. We're going to click on that. And then, of course, we're going to select the one that we've created where it says home assistant whatever you called yours. Uh, you can make any changes here to the name or anything that it will be displayed. I'm just going to leave mine with Home Assistant and hit Done at the top. All right, now we have to authorize Home Assistant uh, to work with uh, SmartThings. So we're going to say Allow. And, of course, it comes back and says Successfully Installed. All right, let's jump back over to the web interface to complete our uh, setup. Back in Home Assistant where it told us to install the uh, Smart App, we're going to hit Submit. And boom, success, created config for Home Assistant. We'll go ahead and close that. And that is pretty much the end of this setup. Let's uh, jump over to the uh, last little section here and just kind of see what that looks like in action. So back in Home Assistant, we're just going to click on integrations one more time. As you can see, we now have a, a SmartThings Home configured up here in the top. Go ahead and select that. And boom, it has already pulled in all of my devices that I have uh, defined in the SmartThings component. Everything is there. These are now available for me to use within Home Assistant. Um, for whatever I need to turn devices on and off, automations, whatever. That is the end of this tutorial, guys. I mean, super easy setup, fully integrated into Home Assistant, which I love. Uh, one less uh, piece that we have to kind of keep up with and make sure everything works properly. Uh, so far, everything has been working great for me with this. Um, obviously, this is in the early stages of this component, so you may have issues, but because it's in production now, I think they've pretty much worked out all the kinks. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, we started out by generating our personal access token, uh, which, of course, we uh, did on the SmartThings page. Once that was done, we uh, stopped our SmartThings MQTT bridge. Obviously, if you're not currently running that, you could skip that step. Once that was done, we added the SmartThings component in Home Assistant using the Integrations uh, tab. Once that was done, we added the Smart App in the uh, SmartThings mobile app on our phone. And lastly, I just kind of showed you what everything looked like in action. That is the end of the video, guys. Uh, again, super easy setup. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I will see what I can do to put that out there for you. Thanks a lot.